Y'all, it is so musty and hot. I am perspirating. Okay, so I did a lot today, you know, right now, little life update. I had this makeup on for like 16 hours. I did wedding makeup today and then I went straight to work. So I have been out and about since very early this morning. So I'm super excited to just sit down and talk about my empties for summer. Oh my God, summer was amazing. I love summer. Can we just reminisce about what happened during the summer? Like me and Angel went to Disneyland. I love, okay, anyway, stop it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the first thing in this bag. Now, I have just the Clear Care 3% Hydrogen Peroxide contact solution. Um, I have a contact video talking about my contacts and how I take care of them. And a lot of people surprisingly asked me like when to cycle out your solution and I thought it was pretty obvious that you cycle it out every single time you use your lenses. But apparently uh, not a lot of people know that so there you have it. The next item is the Philosophy Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Now, I mentioned this particular product in another empties video, I forgot when, but I remember saying that I hated it and I thought that it didn't do its work, it wasn't worth the money, and so my sister actually had this in her room and she was like, oh, do you wanna use it? And I was really apprehensive to say yes, but I ended up you know, giving it another shot and I actually think that I, really enjoy it just because of I don't know I feel like it breaks down my makeup so if I use it as like I guess you would say like a cleansing balm or like an oil cleanser um, I just put it on top of my makeup as is and then it really breaks it down or I'll go in with this as a kind of second step a double cleanse and I think that really clears my skin um, I don't know I just think that this isn't too special um, but it works I got a body wash. This is by Bath & Body Works. This is their Apple Blossom and Lavender uh, Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel. This is actually really good. <laughs> it lathered up really well. And I don't know, I love the scent. I love the scent of apples. Artificial apples are my favorite. And I don't know, this did the job. I love Bath & Body Works. Um, body care, <laughs> they make the body work. So it was real cool. I finally ran out of this stuff. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel with sunscreen and hyaluronic acid. This stuff is amazing. I like literally, mm, it's gone, it's done. But I love this stuff because it's a gel moisturizer and you don't find a lot of good drugstore gel moisturizers. This is a little bit more expensive. I wanna say maybe in like the $16 range, but I think it's well worth it just because it really does work and it has SPF, so I mean, it's all in one. Hyaluronic acid is really good for hydration, and if you're just looking for something that's lightweight but effective, definitely try this out. You guys, I used up a hair product that wasn't dry shampoo. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? This is the Tresemme Split Remedy Split End Sealing Serum, and it says it reduces up to 80% of split ends after three uses, so obviously I did use the whole bottle, and I use this since I had long hair. So I've used, I've had this in my uh, bathroom for about two years and it took me a very long time to use it up because I'm not very diligent with my hair products. Like I will just use them every once in a while. Um, but for the times where I use this, like after every shower, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if it necessarily works or not. Uh, I, I naturally don't have a lot of split ends. Like my hair is very, very healthy. So I don't know if that's honestly me or the product that's helping me out. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> I was so sad when I ran out of this. This is the Institute Arnaud French Rivera Dry Oil Elixir. And I got sent this by the brand. And normally when brands send me stuff, I'm never like really really obsessed with it like I would never like run run out of it you know what I mean but this one I used it almost every single day and I used it as a lotion and it really did help my body out I didn't feel like my skin was excessively dry or I don't know excessively oily because it's a dry oil you know it soaked up into the skin just like lotion and it was just super cool lightweight and I don't know maybe I'm gonna try more dry oils but Right now I have a lot of lotions on backup in my in my sink, so uh, definitely this is really good. 
I have the Head & Shoulders Instant Relief Scalp Soother for the cooling relief instantly and this is amazing if you have a dry scalp, a dry or itchy scalp that's prone to dandruff. Um, that's the problem that I have and this really helps my scalp, you know, not flake, um, not smell weird because my dry scalp when it gets dry it starts to smell like I haven't showered, which is really sad. But this keeps my hair smelling really fresh. It keeps it from not itching, not anything gross. And I think that this is actually one of my ride or dies now because I have another one in my bathroom that I forgot to bring in. And it's the exact same one. And I ran through that out as well and you know, in summer. So this is actually a staple for me. And I think I need a guy like, I need to buy like 10. I ran out of the Urban Decay All Nighter. Not much that needs to be said about this. It locks your makeup in all night. And I use it on myself, my clients, everybody, my friends, and I don't know. It's just a really good staple to have. Um, if you have a cosmetic outlet near you and they have um, the setting sprays, definitely get a load of them just because the old packaging is now on discount because they came out with the new packaging. I ran out of another lotion. This is, oh, this is the same scent as the body wash. This is the Apple Blossom in Lavender. Mm, love this scent. Love, I love the 24 hour shea line in Bath and Body Works. That's my favorite. I swear by it. I ran out of the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. One of my all time favorites, my go to's, my rider dies. I have the big jumbo size now, so always have it with me. When summer started, my sister took me and my cousins to go soul cycling, and that was a really crazy experience. That was that was honestly like really fun, and I would do it again, but you know, um, I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> In all honesty, and right after we went soul cycling, we went to Bath and Body Works, and we got the Waikiki Beach Coconut Aloe Gel Lotion. So this one was a completely new consistency to the Bath & Body Works line and it was really cool. I just felt like this ran out extremely quickly and by quickly I meant I brought this with me on the Disneyland trip with Angel and me and Angel like together like we just we literally used like half the bottle just the two of us and we were only in Disneyland for like what three days so I, that, I think that's a lot. I think that's a lot and plus like my body wasn't well hydrated like my elbows, my knees, everything was like starting to become a little ashy so I was getting really concerned. I was like, mm, I don't know if I would ever repurchase it but I mean it was cool for the concept. Recently I used up the H2O Plus Sea Moss Black Sand Body Scrub and honestly I hate this. Um, I just think that the particles are very coarse and yes it does exfoliate, don't get me wrong, but is it exfoliating more than my loofah? That's kind of the question where I'm at. And plus, I can never rinse off all of the particles. Like I always have leftovers on my body, always have residue, and it's literally disgusting. And so I would not ever repurchase that or ever recommend it to you because it's just, it's disgusting. I hate it when particles are on me after I shower. Like. I'm in there for a reason. I'm in there to get clean, cleansed of my sins, and I just come out with sand all over my body. Next item that I ran out of is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the color Natural Beige. This is my go-to, my ride or die matte foundation. And I love this because it literally stays on your face all day. I remember my senior year of high school, I went to Disneyland with this and my makeup did not budge. Like it sets a really good base for your bronzer, blush, highlight, and it just makes it look like your makeup is extremely long lasting. This, oh my god, this plus the Urban Decay All Nighter, you're done, you're set, have a good day. And I am a normal skin type by the way, everyone literally asks me all the time, like what skin type am I? I'm normal. And I just feel like certain foundations on me personally, since I am normal, they break up differently. So one that's more dewy is obviously going to break up to look a little bit more oilier. This one isn't going to break up as fast because it's a matte foundation. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's pretty good. Now some of you guys have probably left this video and some of you guys have probably stayed, but this is like the high point of the video. Look at this, look at this. Have you ever seen an empty rosebud salad? <laughs> oh my goodness, like this took me, how old was I when I got this? This took me 
since sophomore year of high school to go through this. I am now a sophomore in college. What the hell? Oh, look at this. Like, oh, I am. Look. I am so proud. Like, I did this. I, me. Oh. I'm a huge lover of Caudalie, but honestly, I got this as a sample for my birthday. This is the Vino Perfect Serum for all skin types, and my sister personally loves this. Like, she got a full size when we were in France, but for me, I don't think it did anything to my skin. And I, I don't know if it's because I'm normal, I don't have as big of pores as my sister, no shade to her, but she has bigger pores than me. Um, maybe that works for her. Uh, she's just a little bit more oilier than I am as well. So I don't know. I don't know. I just don't think it did anything to me. I think it smelled weird. <laughs> Next thing that I ran out of was the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. And this summer I was like on the hunt for like a really good eye cream. And the one thing that I'm a little iffy about is if this is more moisturizing than just me putting a moisturizer under my eyes. You know, it doesn't really tighten it. It doesn't, I don't know. I just don't see a difference. I just think it moisturizes it. But I mean, honestly, I could put a moisturizer under my eyes and it'll give me the same effect. I ran out of another Holy Grail foundation. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the color Natural Beige. This is my favorite. <laughs> I love this stuff so much and I'm trying to use up all my foundations right now so currently I'm not using my backup but it is just so amazing if you want that flawless finish, um, if you want a natural skin like finish as well. Um, sometimes the Pro Matte can look a little drying on some areas like in summer my nose tends to look a little dry so this on my nose kind of makes my nose look a little crusty but then whoo, but then the matte and poreless does it just makes everything look really nice refreshed moisturized hydrated towards the beginning of summer I ended up using my it cosmetics bye bye pores pressed powder and I wanted to use up my other powders because I just thought, you know, I have a lot of powders, I need to get rid of some, and just a few weeks ago, I whipped this bad boy back out because I had a backup, and I just thought to myself, why did I stop? Because it makes my skin just look instantly blurred, makes my skin look instantly flawless, but the drawback is that it gives you flashback, but only if you do not whisk it away all the way. Um, you know, if you leave it on your skin and like don't blend it out, then you will get like that major flashback. But honestly, like it's nothing too extreme. You know, it's nothing I am like, oh my God, I don't like it. Because honestly, I think the It Cosmetic CC Cream gives really bad flashback. Like can't, I cannot recommend that ever to anyone. But this one is a really good investment and I would definitely recommend it. I have four empty eyeliners, isn't that crazy? I ran out of one today. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper. Personally, I could care less for this. The only thing that I really love about this liner is that the point of the tip is actually really, really slim. Um, but it's a brush tip and I feel like I could dupe it out very easily with the Physician's Formula Eye Booster Pen. This is my holy grail ride or die. Can't live without this. I personally think it's waterproof because I've cried with it on many times and it hasn't budged. So I think that this is really cool. You can get it on sale, on discount. It's easily available. And then the next one that I have is another brush tip pen. This is by Deca Scarlet. This is when they sent me the July, June to August box, I believe. I have a review on it way, 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 way back. And this was honestly a really good eyeliner. The downside though, it dried within a month. A month? No, I will not stand for that. That is too short. Finally, I have a coal liner. This is the Bare Minerals Lasting Line Eyeliner. This is my favorite. I remember when I was getting down to the end, I was like, oh, let me see how much I have. And then I broke it all off. Oh, but honestly, I think that this is an amazing price. It's $17 and usually eyeliners like this are around $20, $25. So it's a pretty good deal and no one really talks about this and I talk about it all the time in my tutorials. So definitely try this out if you're looking for a long wearing liner that you don't have to set in your waterline. The last thing that I have is the Sigma Brush Shampoo. And this is like a little small sample, it's so cute. But they sent me this in my Sigma package and when I used it, it worked. It worked great. 
Um, but I remember when I reviewed it on Snapchat, the brushes that had cream products, it was really, really hard to get out. Like, I'm talking about when I did my makeup on my client earlier that day and then immediately had to wash my brush. The brush that had the liquid lipstick on it just didn't want to blend or didn't want to wash away. And it was just really frustrating to me and it just made it feel a little greasy. Um, the smell isn't my favorite. It just smells bland. <laughs> I would rather have something like with a fresh scent or some, maybe even like a baby shampoo scent. But it's just the scent wasn't my cup of tea but you know that's like everyone like everyone loves different things so I mean I can't really complain about the scent uh, because you know a lot of people don't want their brushes smelling like fragranced or anything so that wraps up my empties video hope you guys really enjoyed this was a very nice selection of products um, if you want to see any more empties videos stay tuned every season I do one four times a year um, yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed let me know if you want to see any more videos um, maybe for Halloween maybe uh, for the future for dinner <laughs> for breakfast let me know as always I love you guys and I love you and I love you so much bye peace out Girl Scouts <laughs>